Hello everyone, welcome to the Ginger Snaps here. My name is Steven, and yeah, it's a month of Halloween review yet, but I will be getting to those real quick. Now, you guys are probably wondering, what's with the Freddy getup? Well, if you haven't seen the thumbnail, this is a review on my Freddy Krueger glove. Now, as you guys can hear, it's one of those metal ones, right? This is not from a private maker. This is a NECA glove. Uh, I will be going into the review of this very shortly, but there's a reason why I have to do this review. It's got this amazing story to it. And um, I just, I felt like it was in my nature to go for this review real quick. Uh, just send it out there. So without further ado, let's take a look at this glove. All right, guys, here is the glove itself. Now, of course, this, these kind of necklace gloves came with these uh, hands here. Nice little display hand and, you know, it has even the title of Nightmare on Elm Street, right? So anyways, this is the glove itself. Now, of course, as you guys can see, it's autographed. It's got Robert England's autograph on there and it says, Welcome to prime time, bitch. Yeah. That's my favorite quote of the whole entire movie. Now, of course, everything from the detail of the glove itself, you know, Neko did a pretty damn good job, especially the fact that they re-soldered the index blade. Like, that's really fucking cool. Now, of course, this glove is an old glove, and of course, the blades are a little bit, you know, rusty, and I don't mind that at all. So, it just looks more authentic now. Now, of course, when it comes to the actual tear, torn up glove, now, this, this little piece here, I hated the fact that NECA just put like a safety pin on this thing. So what I did was, you know, glued some Velcro onto the glove. So when I put it on, when I put it on my hand or I put it on the display, I just, you know, put this on my hand and then Velcro's on and there, it just stays on. Perfect, right? Now, of course, there's one thing I did have to do when it came to customizing this glove. You'll see it right there, this index finger, or ring finger, actually. This rivet, or not rivet, uh, what's it called? Uh, this, um, God, I can't remember the name. Anywho, uh, so I had to bend the shit out of this because this originally was up there, like way up there. So every single time when my ring finger would do that, the whole thing would just slide out, right? So I just carefully bent it, and now it's stuck right there at my fingertip. Now, it's a little bit, you know, a little loose, right? But whatever, it wasn't meant to fit, the glove wasn't meant to fit, right? So other than that, yeah, like when it comes to NECA and the whole glove itself, you know, I have to give it a five out of ten, or like a you know out of five. Yeah, probably a three out of five. I know there's a lot of people who go to these professionals that make these gloves, like NightmareGloves.com and stuff. But you know, at the time, this was a cheaper price. Um, you know, it was a cheaper way to get it, and you know, like it's not bad, especially for a NECA glove. Not bad at all. Welcome to prime time, bitch. So that's just a nice little review of this glove. I know a lot of people already have this glove in their collection. Some people even have better copies of this glove in their collection. But here's the story as to why I wanted to do this review real quick. Now, uh, back in 2011, that's when I purchased this glove. And um, it was in my collection for quite some time. Now, the thing about this glove is that, you know, obviously the whole autograph, right? Well, I had my brother take this glove to a convention that Robert England just happened to be in Edmonton at that time in 2013 and uh, I got him to bring this glove there and have Robert England sign it so of course he has a picture of Robert England just waving hi to him and he brought it home and of course I was just super proud to have my first ever autographed prop and it just happened to be a Freddy Krueger glove signed by Robert England now as you guys already saw in the little review that you can see here that it says welcome to primetime bitch right well above that it would have said my name now i'm going to be putting these photos up here that you guys can see it's a clear as day photo you know synopsis of how this glove is the same glove right 
why is my name not on it anymore? Well, back in 2016, um, I, my daughter was barely one at the time, and uh, I was not really working yet. Um, I had lost my job back in 2015, three months before my daughter was born. And then I was struggling, you know, I was on, you know, income support and that wasn't doing it. And sometimes they, the money doesn't come fast enough. So eventually you have to part ways with certain things. And one of the things I parted ways with was this glove. Now, um, I went to a flea market this past weekend and I had picked this glove up. Because I noticed this guy, he was collecting a bunch of stuff over the years. And this glove was one of them. And I went to confirm that this was the same glove I had sold back in 2016. And it just happened to be the same glove. Now, of course, he wiped my name off. Uh, of course, just to get a better sell, I guess. Um, I'm not too mad about that. Whatever. I get it, right? Of course, I had to pay a little bit more than I sold it for. That's, you know, that's what happens, right? But... It was the one thing in my collection that I was so regretful on selling. Now, of course, at the time, this was to help, you know, get something for my daughter to either eat or have diapers or anything in that matter. But I, at the time, did not want to let it go. But of course, you know, when you become a father, you become a parent, your kid comes first. Now, over the years when I got better and then I had a job and everything and, you know, was going very well it was the one thing i regretted and to see that this glove was at the same flea market that i occasionally visited it was just it was you know epiphany it was a, it was a circle of life but i guess in a way where the glove i regretted selling i found again and i ended up buying it again now of course i'm just so happy it's now back in my collection um you know, I do love the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. I especially love the first film. And this glove was one of the things I just, you know, couldn't part ways with. And honestly, I'm so grateful this glove came back. So that's just my little story. And um, yeah, I thought it was an interesting one to, to pretty much share for my channel. But I guess the question that I should be asking myself is pretty much, or asking you guys, did you ever have something that you had in your collection that you're super proud of and you had no choice but to sell it and you regret it? Did you happen to find this very same thing years later or is it something that you're still on the hunt for? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you also give a thumbs up and also subscribe for this content. Other than that, guys, that's it for me. This has been the Ginger Snaps here. My name's Steven, and I'll catch you guys later.